You know, this idol event's really got me thinking. What would an all Saber Face band even be called? The Sword and Stones? King? Sabres and Roses? Hello everyone, Sobroni of GNA Reviews here, bringing you a spotlight for the one servant who's always down for a casual night of rock band, MHX Alter Idol. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers of how you utilize her effectively, and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 4 star servants. So if you're ready to have a jam session with MHX Alter, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring my bell, so you can catch all of these spotlight videos as they go up, and you can help out the channel. And now, Onto MHX Ultra stats. MHX Ultra has a max HP of 12,375 and a max attack of 9,045. There aren't many SR Foreigner servants to compare her with, but suffice it to say that MHX Ultra does have much higher HP than MHXX, but much lower attack. Similarly, she has very good HP for an SR servant overall, but mediocre attack. When it comes to her command cards, MHX Ultra has 4 hits on her quick card, 3 hits on her arts, 4 hits on her buster, and 5 hits on her extra card. She has an NP gain rate of 0.9% and a star rate of 15%. She has strong NP gain and star generating due to her high hit counts and her extremely high base NP gain rate. Overall, MHX's stat spread is much more suited for an off support than it is an attacker, as most of her useful stats are allocated toward defense and utility. Taking a look at her skills, her first skill is Superb Round Dancing Rank B. This skill increases her quick card and buster card effectiveness for 3 times or 3 turns between 20 and 30 percent, both depending on level, and it grants her one hit of evasion, lasting for three turns. Her second skill is Infinite Upstream Lyric Rank C, which increases her crit damage for one turn, between 50 and 100 percent, and it increases her damage against mechanical enemies for three turns, between 30 and 50 percent, both effects depending on level. And finally, her last skill is King Singing Rank C. This skill increases the party's attack for three turns, between 10 and 20 percent, and recovers the their HP between 1000 and 2000, both depending on level. As for her passives, MHX Ultra has existence outside the domain rank D, which generates 2 crit stars every turn and increases her debuff resist by 4%, Madness Enhancement rank C, which increases her buster card effectiveness by 6%, and Ultra Reactor rank B, which increases her debuff resist by 17.5%. Moving on to her deck and Noble Phantasm, MHX Ultra has a Quick Buster deck with Quick Quick, Arts, Buster, Buster and a quick Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Lumino Caliber, which is an AoE quick attack that deals damage to all enemies, with a damage modifier between 600 and 1000% depending on level. It also deals bonus damage against enemies with an evil alignment, and it increases her quick card effectiveness for one turn between 20 and 40% depending on overcharge. Since she's a Welfare, Ascension Mat requirements for leveling MHX Alter are very easy to acquire. She just needs 4 Cosmo Guitars, which she'll get as a reward for completing the event. Things do get a bit trickier when we come to her skill mat requirements though. For skill leveling, she's going to need 8 Wyvern Fangs and Horseshoes, 10 Ancient Gears, Bicorn Horns, and Aurora Steels, and 12 Spiritrons, Reactor Cores, and Comet Shards per skill. If you'd like to know the best place to farm any of these mats, there will be a link to the Ascension Mat drop table in the description down below, so make sure to check that out. At long last, we have an MHX Alter Alt. Personally, I was hoping for Summer MHX MHX Alter, but I'll take what I can get. Unfortunately though, if you are expecting this iteration of MHX to be as strong as her Zerker form, you'll be a little bit disappointed. Because despite being a servant that was clearly designed to be a DPS, MHX Idol doesn't really have much to show for it. Her attack stats are on the low end of average, and she has disproportionately high HP. She does fare a bit better when it comes to star generating and NP gain, both of which she's fairly strong in, but only having a single arts card does make her NP gain gain inconsistent, but she does thankfully have one saving grace, and that's her anti-berserker a pen skill of all things. A foreigner with additional anti-berserker damage can be a strong thing, since they already receive reduced damage from berserkers. This passive can potentially make MHX Alter well suited for countering berserkers, but only if her skills can hold up. So the question is, how good are her skills? Well, the good news is that all of MHX Ultra's skills are offensive, 
which helps make up for the lack of her raw stats. Her first skill, Superb Round Dancing, gives her a boost to both Buster and Quick Card effectiveness, as well as one hit of evasion. Numbers wise, this skill is decent, a 30% boost to card effectiveness is pretty good, especially when it applies to 80% of the cards in her deck, as well as her Noble Phantasm. So MHX will get good damage mileage out of this, not to mention a little bit of a bump to her NP gain on Quick Cards. The evasion is less impressive, but since it is one hit and not one turn, you'll almost always get use out of it. So you can activate the skill offensively without having to worry about wasting the evade most of the time. On the downside though, the uptime for these buffs is very bad, only three hits. So oftentimes you'll likely burn through them in just a turn or two rather than the standard three turns. MHX does have a damage buff with slightly better uptime in King Singing. This is a standard charisma skill that also heals the party for a small amount. The 20% attack up buff pairs very nicely with her card buffs and it can generate a good amount of extra damage for her NP as well. The high uptime also means that you can keep the attack buff up for most of the battle. That said though, this is one of the weaker special charisma skills in the game. A 2000 HP heal is by no means a game changer and she'd have been much better off with a crit damage or NP gain buff for the secondary effect. Speaking of which, MHX does have infinite upstream lyric, which is her definitive crit skill. It buffs her crit damage by a tremendous 100% for a turn and it increases her damage against mechanical enemies by 50%. Since the crit buff only lasts a single turn, you're going to want to activate the skill along with round dancing in order to maximize the burst damage from her buster and quick card. The anti-mechanical damage is interesting because it is completely unique to MHX Alter, however there are very few enemies that fall under the mechanical category so this will rarely come into play. And like her first skill, this one also suffers from relatively low uptime. For skill priority, level round dancing first, followed by infinite upstream for the better burst, and then charisma last. You can grab all three of her pen skills, and I'd suggest grabbing mana loading first, with Berserker attack up second. MHX Alter's Noble Phantasm is an AoE quick attack that deals bonus damage against evil enemies and increases her quick card effectiveness. With Round Dancing active, MHX Alter does have access to a mana burst when using her NP, which helps out her damage substantially. And against evil enemies, this Noble Phantasm can also be very potent. Other than that though, this is just your typical AoE quick attack with nothing special to offer aside from damage. And unfortunately for MHX, her lack of NP battery skills mean that she isn't a very good Scotty Looper like Kichi. MHX Alter skills are very limiting and her playstyle is very straightforward. She is pigeon held into one role, and that role is Zerker Killer. And that isn't exactly the worst role to have. Many Zerkers do fall under the evil alignment, including many recent and upcoming Lost Belt bosses, so they do receive additional damage from her NP on top of the bonus damage that come from her pen skill. So MHX Alter definitely does have her use. The problem, however, is that outside of that niche, MHX Alter offers surprisingly little. Her NP gain isn't good enough to loop with, so she isn't an effective farmer. Her damage against non-Berserker enemies is abysmal due to her low attack and low uptime buffs, and even as a crit DPS, she is subpar. The other issue is that MHX Alter requires a lot of investment, not only into her active skills, but into her pen skills as well. And since Berserkers are already weak to every other class in the game, in many cases, Cases, you're simply better off just investing in another 4 star DPS, and even some of the elite 3 star DPSs like Ushi, who can give you far better results for far less resources. That isn't to say that MHX Alter is completely outclassed though, she can still be effective in the right team comps with allies who can bolster her quick card effectiveness and crit damage. Servants like Osakabe Hime, Bartholomew, and Van Gogh. Osakabe Hime is one of the best general quick crit supports around, not only providing quick and buster card buffs for MHX, but also crit damage, and P charge, and healing. Van Gogh is a solid foreigner support who also provides heaps of crit damage and star generating, and even a star absorb for some consistency. Bartholomew is a decent free to play option since he works a lot like a budget Osakabe Hime, providing a little bit of everything, NP charge, NP buffs, crit damage, and crit stars. MHX Alter's Bond CE is My Galaxy Demo Tape. It increases the party's damage against mechanical and evil enemies by 15% each. This is thematic, but not really worth using since the buff is so small and there aren't many mechanical enemies. Instead, give MHX Alter CEs that can either bolster her crit damage or her quick card effectiveness, like Traces of Christmas, True Crimson Spear Trainer, 
Chocolate Heaven, or even Black Grail if you want to maximize MHX's NP damage since her heal will negate most of the burn. In the future, Fist of Hail can be a great setup CE for MHX Alter as it provides her with crit stars immediately as well as additional quick and crit damage. For command codes, any crit buffing code is useful on her, especially if it also increases star absorb like Majin Sun. Overall, MHX Alter Idol is unfortunately one of those welfares who's worth more as a collectible than as an upgrade to your team. Team. She can successfully fill a niche role as a dedicated Berserker killer thanks to her class, anti-Berserker damage, and anti-evil buff, which gives her some usefulness against many later bosses. But she's hardly the best option for DPS even within that role, and she simply pales in comparison to most other SR servants anywhere else. So all in all, she gets a C from me. If you don't already have a foreigner servant, then maybe MHX Alter can serve as a stopgap until you get better ones, but for the most part, she She's quickly outclassed and only barely manages to find success in her niche. So as much as I love her, MHX Ultra Idol is more of a cult classic than a certified platinum hit. And those are my thoughts on MHX Ultra Idol. Like I said, it's a shame she isn't more useful as a servant because she has an absolutely fantastic design that just makes you want to use her. But alas, MHX Ultra Idol will have to settle for being top tier only in our hearts. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over in our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter, and I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So, we're running out. Later.